So we're gonna get Pudge. That's gonna be fun. Stitches slash Pudge. Stitches, want to play. Stitches is everything you know Pudge to be in Dota. Very popular. People that don't play tank tend to gravitate towards him. He's one of the least tank-like tanks, as his position should be more backwards to gain value for hook. It requires more teamwork. It requires good judgment and aim from the Stitches. And the counter to Stitches is uh, a dive team and enemy uh, mobility. And what you'll see more often, I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't wanna jinx it too much, but what you'll see more often is a Stitches being alone, hooking against three people, hooking one and then dying. That's like more common than the dream pro game scenario where you are five people, you hook and you blow up that person and then you play 5v4. Please tell me that jacket is purchasable. No, actually, we were trying to remember how I got it. Cass and I just talked about it. We saw an event, a Warcraft event, and we saw that jacket. I think it was Chinese esports event. We saw the jacket and uh, I messaged I messaged them if I could buy one and then they just sent me two. I think it's probably someone from that net east. Yeah, the Blizzard's uh, Chinese partner. Gonna be a burrow charge. We don't have to go to the other lane since they are not there. Right. Yeah, but I'm getting stacks on Chen. I have 22 stacks. Uh, Anubrak is coming top. Okay. He was he was wondering if I'm gonna bully Chen more, and I was. So now I'm coming mid again. He's mid too. He wa he wants to come bolt, but I interrupted him. So guys, I'm playing a very interesting hero right now called Zul'jin. Zul'jin is like Troll Warlord in uh, Dota, except it's a little different. He's more like Huskar. The lower you are, uh, the more damage you deal. Uh, so basically... Uh, activate to, your trait to increase basic attack damage by 25%, but you're consuming two max health per attack. And then the passive is Zul'jin attacks 1% faster for every 1% of maximum health missing. So I drop real low, I'm attacking really, really fast. So you can see here my number. When I get to 75, I'm gonna get uh, basic attack range increase. And when I get to 150, I'm gonna get uh, double spinny axis. And the spinning axis is the same ability as uh, Beastmaster has in Dota 2. Damage and slow with revolving axis. Except it's gonna revolve twice. So early game I want to have a lot of skirmishes. Every auto attack I do gets a stack. I'm our dedicated tank killer, but of course if I can attack someone not the tank, that's even better. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of my role.
coming back, coming back in. Hopefully some space created. Three skeletons, three. Three against eight. I, uh, I don't have any. One. No. And we got it. Okay, cool. We have summoned an arcane punisher. Okay, you, you take mid and top maybe. Alright. Although Leo is alive, but he's buying time at the objective. Gonna get extra attack speed. Chen might be coming mid. So if I'm below half life and I do an auto attack on an enemy hero, I get two stacks. If I am over half life, I get one stack for an attack. Also, the lower life I am, the more attack damage I get from my level one talent and uh, the more spell power I get for my Q and W spells. Those don't do a lot of spells, but it kind of adds up. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it kind of helps. <laughs> One full level down, Leoric getting harassed. We could go top. Okay. Counter gank. Please hook him. No, every other tank gets a kill there. Every other tank gets a kill there. Just yep. power slide, face melt. 4v1. Squishy backliner that didn't face check. That face check a bush. Got good stacks, I got my range. We're gonna need our level 10s to be more useful. That gives us, our offlaner gives him Entomb, and it gives our tank uh, Gorge, which is a four second uh, eating of an enemy that deals damage, or he's gonna go Putrid Pile, but I think it should be Gorge. Yo, thanks, Lev. Hey, Grubster. Thanks for the content. Wish you victory ASAP to go play the turn. XO, XO to the less than three. Thank you, mate. I hope we get some nice Ws. We're clearing mid. Gonna go Tastingo. Right, let's go five, five v four. Let's go. Okay. Arrow is really good. What is wrong with you? Yeah. They have Actually, good, good coordination. When Leoric died, we should have left. Yeah. Uh, Leoric wanted to do a 5v4, but they uh, they met him and he took too much damage and decided to stay. I'm not sure if he eat into them. And also, um, I think the rest of the team don't recognize quickly enough that we have a 5v4 opportunity. But yeah, he was probably a little bit too low. The, he has March. He went March. Oh, you went March. How are we doing on stacks? 250, 20. Uh, I am too stacked, but I feel like the oppo is 4 or 5. Their coordination is a little better. And they play the same heroes two times in a row. So pretty much like a, a tried and true... Yeah, a tried and true draft. Gorge is a non-factor in all of these fights. Yeah. He took Gorge. He took Gorge, but he's not using it. He just walks up, out of attacks them and dies. Or lets us die. 
Yeah, Stitches can appeal, just for sure. Yeah, it's it's typical punch game, typical Stitches game. It's super typical. Uh, Unless you play off of the hook, Gorge Isolation, as soon as you just step up, Gorge becomes a non-factor. Look what it does. Consume an enemy hero, trapping them for 4 seconds. When Gorge ends, they take 439 damage. The trapped hero cannot move or act, but doesn't take damage from other sources. So you do that, you do a Gorge on someone with the intent to pick them off. You'll see that in most of the fights, he doesn't even use the ult at all. Like, he died without using. Last fight, we died without using. It, Stitches can be quite a good hero, but this is the how it usually goes. We are quite reliant on Leo and Tomb or Stitches Gorge to start a fight. They are better at just uh, straight up meeting each other. And uh, our Leo didn't take in Tomb. I guess I'll take in Snare so that we have another way to lock people down. Leo didn't take in Tomb and Stitch is not using Gorge. Oh, what I mean, got Gorge. Okay, okay, cool. Imagine living. Okay, nice. They're 16, yeah. but uh, White Min died. We should fight. Nice. Gorge is insane. Stitches is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stacked. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take care of both. Or do you? I can. Okay, okay, I'll take this guy. So yeah, true. That's kind of our comeback. We still have four forts. Still have four forts against six. We got a bunch of camps running. And we need our 16. They're gonna probably defend uh, mid first, so we should push the bottom towers. Even as Rhaegar is taking this, you start pushing. Oh! We're not 16 yet. Yeah, there's still two mid. Okay, they're coming close. I have a snare. Okay. Uh, we play off of stitches. Yeah. He just showed mid, so that makes it quite obvious where we are. can try. We take Bruiser Cap? Okay. Oh, I need Peel here though. Yo, we don't know where they are right now. You warriors? Warriors? Yeah. So we're a little late, but let's go. Yeah. We have to play off of Stitches. Uh, Gorge? Yeah. Gorge on our fear. Yeah. That's close. Yeah. Okay, he's really low. Yeah. Next hook in five, maybe. Take some scales. Turn went top. Okay, good. He was low. They might be. Oh, no, no, no. They're coming back. We have to be patient. Ten skeletons, ten skeletons. Yeah. 
Wait for skeleton sir. Two more. Two. Easy. Nice hook. Nice try. And snare in 15. I pushed top before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mid, right? Thought. Oh, okay, yeah. So, it, it did get a thought. Uh, the gorge. Uh, off, yeah. When is Dota start? Pray against him. Nice. The Hanzo is here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. We maybe I would have finished the game with this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, but although I'm out of mana. Okay, okay, don't use any. Yeah. I don't need mana. Snared. Nice, great hook. Okay, GG. As I said, Stitches is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Typical punch player. They just win the game for you, they carry the game on the back. <laughs> Quite long death timer. Yeah, the maximum death timer in Hearts is 65 seconds. That you reach that at level 20, then it doesn't go up anymore. We killed them at level 18 slash 19, so that's like 60, 55 second death timer. In Hots, you have a mount that gives you 40% bonus movement speed. It takes only a short while to channel, and it's worth it as soon as you travel more than like 800 units of travel time uh, or a thousand. Uh, we were losing pretty much all game, but they never took our keeps. Every time you kill a fort, you get bonus passive XP, and it's the same for keeps. The keep is the inner line of uh, major structures. And then the when the keeps die, when you kill a fort, you get one catapult every three waves. And when you kill the keep in the same lane, you get one catapult every wave. Catapults have bonus uh, damage and splash damage, and the rest of the wave doesn't. So we still had three keeps and one fort. They had six forts, let's say three fort, three keep. So we were behind, and we were always a level behind, sometimes two. But we're playing off of level 10, level 13, level 16, which is when you get new ability types, new talent choices. And uh, um, I guess both Asmodan, which is uh, Kazmodan's hero. Yeah, they're a four man. One, one two, no, they're a five man. Okay. Oh, wow. So we're one one against their five man. Then uh, both, that. Yeah, both Asmodan and Zul'jin are scaling heroes we both have uh, things that stack for me it's the auto attacks like i explained at the start and it's uncapped i went for a full auto attack build full attack speed and uh, asmodan has scaling up to a certain point 400 bonus points of scaling on her q which is uh, the globe of annihilation that she throws which is a big basketball dunk uh, or a three-pointer more like because she can do it from quite far so the sc her scaling stops at some point. She can reach it at level 12 or 14 or 16 or 18 in a bad game. And once she reaches that, she's a lot stronger. She gets CDR, bonus damage and whatnot. But then it's capped. So Asmodan, if you play it well, you reach your power spike a little bit at 10. More so when you reach the 400 stacks, which could be level 14 or whatever. And then she's a big fan of Total Annihilation, which is bonus max health damage. Both 16 and 20 represent power spikes for every hero in the game, but Asmodan is kind of on their own clock because they are trying to get those 400 stacks. That's the moment of their power spike. Since it is capped, they don't grow beyond, in disproportionate ways beyond that point. So that could be at level 14 or at 17, and that's roughly when we started turning around and getting some kills. It's also where Stitches gets the level 13. Stitches gets an automatic hook extension, a lengthening of hook at level 13 and that makes them better at picking off from afar naturally and while we had many fights where we got wiped and didn't even use our ult the moment we start hitting some hooks or he just walks up and eats someone could be a white main could be a, an orphea 
we were able to start those fights 5v4 as intended, as hoped for, and then uh, able to, yeah, write that all the way. searching, by the way. I know, I was looking at talent. To write okay. that all the way to uh, a victory. And you can see how quickly games can swing back. We killed four of them, and you can immediately end. Different from Dota 2, where you've got the glyph of fortification that protects your fort slash keep and makes it invulnerable for a short period of time and then resets and whatnot. This is the strength and the weakness sometimes of HOTS, uh, in that it, games can swing quite fast at a late team fight. But the fact that comebacks are possible at all is kind of a nice thing, considering that if comebacks were not possible, then the game would be determined in the first half of the game or the first 70%, and then the rest of it would be an extended death animation. So that's why HOTS shouldn't have and doesn't have a forfeit system 